this is a new product from Wacom uh, called Inkling. It just came out, you know, recently, and I had the opportunity to look at this product up close and personally for the first time. And as you can see, it comes in a very elegant box, very polished. Now, Wacom is known for their pen tablets. They're kind of a standard in the industry for graphic designers. But this time, they've come up with a pen that allows you to draw and have your drawings immediately downloaded into your computer to be edited in programs like Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator and also Sketchbook Pro from Autodesk. And it's an elegant device, not unlike other pens that you've seen before. So this gives you kind of a first-hand glance as to what you get out of the box. And the box is elegant. Also, it comes with a great case that allows you to hold the pen, the device that takes in your information, that, that clips onto your clipboard, uh, USB cable, and also a little mini instruction manual. So this is what you get when you open the box. This gives you an idea of what the contents are. Pretty compact. There's the battery that goes in the pen right there. And also you receive, again, documentation. No CDs or DVDs or USB drives. Everything is on the pen. So when you plug it in, the software is available. And there you can see me fumbling, opening up the case, the plastic case. But there's the booklet, which is interesting because it's completely a picture language. <laughs> so hopefully you'll enjoy this device. Okay, here's the actual booklet. I meant to show this to you a little bit earlier, and now I have it here right actually open. And you can see uh, there's some text in French, uh, English, you know, but very minimal. It doesn't really give you a whole lot of information here about the product. You know, there's just basic information here on how to use it. There are a couple of questions that I had that I just couldn't find the answers to. But, you know, it's an easy product to use. I mean, this is not something that's going to be, you know, incredibly complicated for people that aren't familiar with uh, these types of programs, so they shouldn't have any difficulty really understanding the basics. I mean, in other words, you're not going to break it when you get it running unless you're just completely inept. You know, you have to be really, you know, pretty manhandled product. But there it is in the open state, and the case is really, I mean, this is ingenious the way Wacom really put the case together so that when you plug it in, it's just extremely self-contained, and there are some extra pens there, which was generous of them to include. And also the fact that this pen has a battery that actually charges. So some of these pens, they have batteries that you have to replace the batteries. They're not rechargeable. But here the pen battery is rechargeable as well as the uh, base that receives the signal. And uh, this device really does work as advertised. I was very, I was excited about the pro product when I heard about it and became even more so when I started working with it to realize just how quickly it can download a, a complex sketch to a computer and the small size of the files involved. I mean, it's pretty amazing what you can do and how time saving this is, particularly for people working with Adobe Illustrator. All right, here's more of the uh, Wacom tablet. Here's an example of a drawing that I created not too long ago. And here it is actually connected to a computer. And the device really does work extremely well and saves a lot of time. There's the actual interface, and it pops up, basically Adobe Illustrator. You can basically pop up your image and just start editing. Now, for those of you who've worked with Illustrator, you know how tedious creating lines and drawings can be. And here's one way for your sketches to immediately pop into the computer, and you can start moving lines around that might take hours, days to create, you know, with a tablet. And here's just such an easy way for people that like to sketch to move their drawings immediately into Illustrator for immediate adjustment. I did run into one interesting issue in doing so, is that the program works really well, but if you're using CS 5.5, 5.1, the new one, 5.5, uh, there were some problems, particularly with the 64-bit version of Windows. So you may have to basically use a Suite 5 and the 64-bit version. Uh, so there were some problems, some compatibility issues that they may be working on later on with the program that caused some issues there. But otherwise, things seem to work pretty in a pretty straightforward kind of way, really effectively, which I thought was great. Here I am, you know, showing you some, actually showing you what I'm going to do here. I'm going to actually draw with the device so you can see how well it works. Now, if I start to fumble around a little bit, it's not because the device is cumbersome. I'm using one hand to hold the camera and another one to hold the device. There's the base that you use to plug in. It basically, you clip it open. There I am fumbling with it. Again, it's a lot easier to use than the way I'm demonstrating it, so I apologize. But there I am in my little sketch tablet, one sheet of paper, and I'm, Obscuring my view as we try to look at it, but there it is. There's the actual base, and I'm clipping it to a piece of paper, 
which you cannot see but there it is and you flip it open see how the little mouth you clip it right onto the page kind of very similar to some other devices like the scribe digital pen with memory there it is right on the page so it can clip to a notebook you need to leave about two centimeters clearance from the top there is the pen itself again it comes out easier when you use both hands but coming out of the base there it is so it's coming right out of the base there a uh, standard type of pen make sure your fingers are above the indentation so that you can have a clear line of sight now I'm waiting for the device to turn on there it is it's green and then I'm waiting for the pen to turn green uh, the instructions weren't really clear on how this happens because there seems to be a little bit of a time lag between the time the pen reacts and the base connects to each other so it's not instant and there was no real documentation to tell me you know do I plug it in do I, do I push the button in to get it started to sync it you know I was a little confused about that process but you know in a few moments it'll automatically click on and you're ready to go see if I start drawing without that green light being on the top of the pen whatever I draw is not going to be recorded so I'm waiting for that green light to show up again the documentation is pretty good for the most part it's PDF files as per usual but it was a little difficult to figure out the nitty-gritty, you know, regarding like how it actually works. Do you need to press it? Do you need to wait? What's the time frame before it actually starts to go? There it is. Now you can see the green light on the top uh, flashing, telling me that whatever I'm drawing is working. And this is what's great about this device. You can draw at your normal speed. You don't have to slow down. And it records over a thousand levels of pressure sensitivity. So the lines that you create are going to have the same depth and width as they would have on the paper. So you don't have to change your method of sketching. Just make sure you have a clearance of about two centimeters from the top of the device because it doesn't record any further. And here you can see I'm turning out just a brilliant drawing here. Just turning out all kinds of lines. You know, drawing like you would normally do with a pen. And that's what's great about this device. It just works like a normal pen. And the weight of the pen is about average. Now what I'm doing now is I'm clicking on for another layer. So this way whatever I'm creating is going to be on a second layer. I think that's really great too that you can just ease instantly create layers that way. Okay, now my pen is still active. Now I'm finished with drawing, so I'm putting the pen back into the convenient base. And again, it just slides right in. It's really, again, this isn't the greatest demonstration. It works much more smoothly than this, so I apologize. And there's the clipping base that you just take off. Okay, plug it right into the container right there. Snaps right in, and then plug it into your USB port. It works on USB 2 and USB 3, no doubt, no question. Plugging it right into my Lenovo, and there we go. And you can see me clicking on the software right there, opening it up. And there's all the files. If you want to go directly to them, you can. And there's the interface for the Inkling Manager, and there's my image right there. I mean, that's how quickly these files just pop up into your computer and they're very small files about maybe 200 you know maybe 200 not even a megabyte not even a megabyte and there it is you know this is so much faster than scanning which takes a long time it can be tedious and there's your image right there ready for editing and what I'm doing now is I'm importing it right into Adobe Illustrator so I'm importing my drawing immediately as soon as I see it I can pop up Adobe Illustrator and here it comes not in a moment of time and I can just start editing those lines that I just created. There it is, right there, ready to edit. And I can just manipulate the lines. I mean, this is this may not seem like a lot to a lot of people that aren't really familiar with working with Illustrator, but when you can take a sketch and have those immediate lines just immediately editable in a program like this, that is just a humongous savings of time and energy and effort. And for people that like to draw, but don't necessarily like to draw with a pen tablet, they like the feel of pen on paper, this is going to be an incredible revelation. So Wacom has really done a great job of making this a very simple process and allowing you to do it. Now the only thing is you cannot import directly into programs other than Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, and the Autodesk program. You know, so it doesn't work with Corel or any other type of vector programs as far as directly but obviously if you can pull it into Adobe Illustrator you can pull it into any other program so you you have that option I, you know I wish they did have more options in terms of that and maybe they will and again there were some glitches I couldn't my program just did not recognize 5 point Adobe Photoshop 5.564 bit or 5.564 bit 32 on the 64 bit operating system and it didn't understand Adobe Illustrator 64 bit 
with than a 64-bit program, mainly because I believe the manager is 32-bit. So there were some issues there that maybe they'll iron out in another version. I wish they did have a 64-bit version of the manager. I think that would make things a little easier. But again, I'm not going to fault Wacom too much on this one. You know, it's just something to be cognizant of. Um, but that would have been nice. But again, you can see how much this is going to save you in time. I mean, I'm an artist that loves to sketch and draw. And if you like to work with vector programs, this is just such a savings. You know, I mean, it, Wacom may have actually made several of their devices, you know, maybe obsolete. Because, I mean, I like working with the, with the Inkling. I mean, it's just an incredibly sophisticated device. It's portable. Between your laptop and Wacom, you can design. In fact, they say that you can hold about a thousand drawings or somewhere close to a thousand drawings can be saved on this pen at one setting um, and again it's rechargeable so with your laptop in hand you know or you're pretty much ready to go and it does work on Mac as well on the Mac platform as well this is the Windows version but it also works on Mac as well because a lot of people that are Mac users and again here I am bringing it up into Photoshop and what is great is that you automatically have the layers saved for you this is I can't even tell you what a great device this is because layers are always, you know, one of your crucial ways of working. I mean, when you start dealing with multiple, there I am working on one layer, moving the drawing that I just created, and I'm going to attempt to um, alter this image a little bit by creating some drop shadows in a few moments. Um, you know, it's kind of difficult holding a camera and working with Photoshop at the same time, talk about, but this is definitely a one-man operation here, but I thought this program was so great, I didn't want to waste any time whatsoever showing you just how good this program can be when you see it in this in this light in this manner because it's just such a strong you know I mean tool because I never knew of a way to take sketches and just immediately have them in a computer and just edit them in Photoshop or Illustrator um, again I think probably the choice of Illustrator and Photoshop is is a solid one because most people have them they're familiar with them and they are kind of the industry leaders so you know if you're going to make your program compatible I, I just wish that there were some other options and I wish that there were some other ways but you know again I'm not fault faulting Wacom this is their first time they have brought this product to market so I think it's an impressive one there I am you know in Photoshop creating drop shadows creating um, editable images there you can see and again the drawing retains the feel you know, of the original, which is just what's so great about all this. You know, right there for you. Right there for you, creating a really strong, dynamic type of image. And I think that's just so incredibly great there. So you can see here just why Wacom has done this in just such a wonderful, you know, correct, correct, correct and detailed kind of way. You know, and there I am, you know, I'm fumbling around a little bit here, but there we go, kind of creating, creating a new, new drawing here, kind of altering the existing one. And, like I say, you know, I've worked in Photoshop before, and when you start working with vectors with the lines, it's really difficult, even with the pens. But when you have a pen in hand, and you can take your drawing, bring it into Photoshop, and look, there is instant manipulation. So between the time I drew to the time I was in Photoshop, I've saved myself, you know, time. Because scanning images in with a scanner can be really tedious. And it's time consuming. It's, it's, it's just, you know, a real pain. Here, there's a certain immediacy where you can sketch, drop it in your computer, immediately send it to other people for editing. Uh, the, the software actually that Wacom came up with is pretty decent. I mean, it's, it's a very good, very straightforward type of program, very elegant to look at, very simple. I mean, they've done an admirable job of allowing you to get into the program. And no glitches with installation. The installation of the software was smooth. The installation of the product was effortless. There were no glitches. So they have come up with a really great device that works uh, with any you know modern operating system like Windows 7 and of course Mac OS 10 whatever iteration we're on right now but the Wacom tab is going to save I think artists and designers a lot of headache certainly a lot of hours drawing and I think it's a really valuable tool that almost any artist would have it retails for about 200 but well worth it